The analog era to me is an era full of detail, full of resolution and full of atmosphere. The, the, the real character and energy of the music was captured in a really good way. I think something, some precious thing has actually kind of got lost in the recordings. And if you were to say to me, when do you think the kind of peak of analog recording was? I, I would say uh, during the kind of mid to late seventies, that's when everybody had got their technology really fine tuned and fantastic music came out then. Originally I trained at Trident Studios and it was in the mid seventies and that's all we had, analog. The whole recording studio uh, was based on tape. Um, I was involved in the disc cutting room. That was an analog process. It was only later towards the 80s that um, there was talk of digital systems. And uh, when we finally got them, then that was the point when, uh, you know, I had to kind of work quite hard to uh, maintain the, the analog ethos. There are engineers still working now producers still working now from that analog era that's still producing good quality uh, recordings. And I can, you know, I, I do actually take a lot of my analog records into my studio and just play them, just, just to remind myself of how good it was, you know. Now I, I also demonstrate to some of my clients the difference between CD and a good proper analog vinyl record. You know, once you get the, the, the deck set up, and the monitors set up and you then play it, uh, th there's a huge difference and I, I hear that difference and really to me it's, it's, it's a precious thing. There's something uh, textural, texturally really good about analog, good analog and uh, it's the way we hear, it's, it's the way we walk around the streets and, 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 and it's still part of us, you know, so uh, I think it's important to try and retain as much of that as possible. The work I do, and because I base my working life on analog equipment, I feel has a timeless quality. You can listen to the music over and over again. If I was to constantly use digital equipment, a lot of that would get lost. The main reason I choose the analog equipment is really for the sound and the way it works. If I'm bending the sound with, with an equaliser, an analog piece of equipment, you can grab the knobs and turn it up to maximum, and it actually still can sound musical. If you try and do that uh, with a digital system, uh, it just sounds horrible. And, and these are tonal textures that uh, I feel are really important. The creative experience using analog uh, can be within the recording process, within the mixing process, and within the mastering process. A good example of this is uh, all in the box recording. You know, you, you've got your You've got your laptop and everything is recorded within that laptop and everything is done with plugins. Now, a lot of the producers I work with don't do that. They use the laptop as a multi-track, but then export the tracks through outboard analog gear, through an analog desk, and then re-record it in the other end. So it, it gives them a much wider palette of control over the sound, but also the color of the sound, you know, the warmth, the depth, the 3D, it starts to kind of sound more musical and, and more believable. Uh, in the future, I don't think analog will go away. My experience is that uh, with all the producers, engineers that I work with, they are very heavily interested in, in the analog sound. Uh, there are practical issues within the world of recording. Uh, not every studio has tape machines these days, uh, but I do sense that um, a lot of produ producers and engineers really want to glue themselves to the principles of analog as much as they can wherever they can and there are still lots of really good pieces of equipment made these days you know some of these analog equipment manufacturers are thriving so it'll never go away i think we're in this hybrid mix uh, world where it'll be a mixture of digital and analog uh, but it won't go away